Okay, well here's a quick video on some uh, things I encountered here. I've got a, a Toyota Camry with the uh, 2.2 liter engine. Uh, this is a 2000 model, but basically covers from about 97, 98, uh, up to 2001. Uh, anyways, I did some work on this one. I actually replaced the head gasket, hoses, a bunch of other things. Um, got in the car, and typically what you will do first is uh, you'll have the... Uh, radiator cap off you'll fill it up you'll run it i don't have it running right now but uh you'll run it and most of the time the system will burp itself and you'll be fine just add coolant as you're going along well this one didn't the uh, temperature gauge went way up to hot so i shut it off let it cool off i did that a few times still didn't want to burp i'm like okay well i uh looked up a few things and uh one thing they suggested was do what i did um you know make sure also your reservoir is full too and uh, one thing too after I did this is I put the uh, car up on ramps and you can see I did that and what that'll do is it'll raise the front end up and when I did that then the uh, system burped um, right down here just under the uh, alternator is the uh, um, thermostat and one way to check too is if the upper radiator hose is hot which it was it was steaming coming out of the radiator but the uh, lower radiator hose which is right down here and that goes down into the uh, radiator down there in the bottom if that's cold and the other one's hot you know that the thermostat's not opening and likely what was happening is there was an air pocket there wouldn't allow the thermostat to open so when i did that that shifted the air bubbles and the air pockets in there and that helped bleed the system and then um, once that did you want to run it and you typically you want to see the coolant in here flowing or go down and you want to fill it up just as much and what i'll do is i'll just fill it up to the hot level or just a little bit over the hot level you know i'm here close to full and it'll suck it down um, another thing too you can do if you don't want to do that or if you don't have ramps is you fill it up let it run to hot and have the cap on make sure that the coolant overflow is full and let it cool off for 15 20 minutes half hour it'll suck the coolant out of there uh, repeat the process until the air pockets come out and that's as i said if you don't have ramps that's another way of doing it so hopefully this helps some people that have issues with the uh thing, uh, system overheating right away because there's obviously an air pocket in here um temperature sensors are oh it's over here um it's either back here let's see but there my fingers are there's temperature sensors there and i think that i don't know what that one is but there's temperature sensors there so if there's an air pocket there it's going to read high or whatever so anyways uh like subscribe and uh, i'm looking forward to seeing some other videos and uh talking more than about just cars here <laughs> thanks bye